All right, 50 years old. That has always been the age to get a colonoscopy, but now the American Cancer Society has lowered that age to 45. Because more and more younger people have been getting it. We have WMR2 News Aaron McPherson at the live desk with some answers as to why that's happening. Aaron. Well, doctors say it's becoming far too common for people to be diagnosed with colorectal cancer at a younger age. And if they aren't diagnosed younger, the cancer is much farther along when it is time to get a colonoscopy. I talked with a young survivor her ur who urges you to get checked if something doesn't seem right. Any issues that you have? Adam Young meets with his oncologist, Dr. Pallavi Kumar at MedStar Franklin Square Medical Center. It's been two years since he was diagnosed with stage three rectal cancer, now cancer free. After all of the treatments, you get a scan that comes back clear. Like that was kind of for me when I could kind of breathe a little bit. A sense of freedom that took a lot to get to. He was diagnosed when he was just 32 years old after showing only one symptom, blood in his stool. Didn't really pay attention to it first, just kind of thought it would go away. Months went by and when it didn't stop, he finally went to the doctor, got a colonoscopy, and that's when they found a tumor. I mean, it was devastating, it was just panic. I mean, I have a family and, you know, two little kids, like, probably the worst part about the whole experience is that first blow of the, of the diagnosis because then there's just all these questions and there's no answers. But we really have to know the personal story of each and every patient. We have to know the size of the tumor, the stage, those types of things will dictate their treatment. He wound up getting chemo and radiation at first to shrink the tumor, then surgery to remove it, and finally more chemotherapy. All were successful, but not all of Young's questions were answered. Why me? Like, you know, the, the odds you know, it's like the opposite of winning the lottery. Like, what are the odds that it would happen to you? And that's why I think, like, ignoring the symptoms from the beginning because it can't be anything serious, like, that it doesn't happen. Like, you don't get, you don't get rectal cancer at 32 years old, um, but somebody does. With an increase in younger patients diagnosed with colorectal cancers, doctors are looking into why and how. I think a couple of things they've been exploring is you know sort of better understanding tumors like looking at molecular features mutations to better understand if there's a difference between younger patients and older patients i think they're also looking at the environment of our gut they're looking at microorganisms they're looking at genetic factors that might you know increase the risk of rectal cancers in patients you know we don't know at this point but we're exploring all of these reasons now, Young only had one symptom, the blood in the stool. Now, other symptoms are weight loss, dark stool, or a change in bowel habits like cramps or having trouble going to the bathroom. And sometimes there aren't any symptoms at all until it's, and it's not found until the colonoscopy. Yeah, I mean, I think this, I'm so glad he's speaking out because I think it can be a good lesson getting people to the doctor. He said he went on with those symptoms for months. It looks like he's doing great now. Aaron, some people might be concerned that their insurance might not cover such an invasive test, a colonoscopy. And it, it is a concern. Now, insurance companies do consider it as a screening, a preventative procedure, so they do cover it, but only if you are over that 50 years old or show risks. Now, if you guys have any other questions about colorectal cancer, join us from 4.30 until 6 o'clock tonight on WMAR 2 News. We'll have experts here to answer those questions and share some more information about symptoms and prevention.